So with us officially being in release week for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC Booster Course Pass Wave 1, I thought it would be a good idea to boot up my favorite Mario Kart game to this day of all time, which is none other than Mario Kart Double Dash, and go through some classic tracks together and share my opinion on a few different ones that I think have to come to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC in the future. What's up, nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Sunbro Nation by subscribing below. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. Now, as I mentioned, guys, we're doing a little bit different video today because I found myself very hyped that this is release week for Wave 1 of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC Booster Course Pass, which, of course, if you guys have been around on the channel for a while, you will know that I've been complaining more or less that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe continues to sell so well that we're not getting a new Mario Kart anytime soon, but it's not that I had to have the next Mario Kart game. I just wanted a reason to play it again. But some of my all-time favorite tracks, and really this is definitively my all-time favorite Mario game, Mario Kart game rather, is Double Dash. And I wanted to boot it up together and kind of go down memory lane with some of these tracks because in my opinion, one, I love the mechanic of Double Dash. And I do hope they return to this at some point in the future. They may or may not, but it's one of those things that I just loved the style of this game where you have the pairing of different characters. I always went with light characters in this game for whatever reason. I think I, I would switch it up quite a bit but i'll stick with baby bowser and baby mario for this one and based off of the items that you select or based off the characters rather you get a special item so like i know uh i believe bowser's is that giant shell that they can throw and then baby mario's and baby luigi's is the chain shop and we're gonna dive into one course for here first that i absolutely hope makes it over because this is one of my favorites not my favorite on the list. We'll get to that. But there, I mean, really, I like all the tracks in this game. But Wario Coliseum is one that I think fans would absolutely enjoy in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And there's been a lot of like breakdowns online of, you know, what's been done in tour so far and what tracks are most likely to make it. I don't know if this one's on the list or not, but I would expect it to be because uh, and clearly I've forgotten some of the mechanics here on uh, timing things. And you definitely drift way different in this game than you do in Mario Kart 8 uh deluxe but yeah so i'll have to kind of readjust to the mechanics and things but this one is by far and away oh and i have to switch my characters if i want to hit that extra item don't i uh so that that's one thing that i really liked if you don't get that that uh that double block right there you actually do need to switch over your characters um around so, you, so there's kind of like an extra element of, of strategy when it comes into stuff like this um and yeah if you guys are accustomed to playing mario kart 8 deluxe for so long like i have been um and even mario kart 8 original on the wii u you will definitely feel the difference if you come to this game because it just has a different uh, it's it's almost like you're you're turning a lot faster when you go into a uh into a drift than before and yeah we're gonna have we're gonna go through some uh some growing pains here together with getting you know back into the swing of double dash mechanics but uh super fun super fast pace you guys may notice i play i'm i'm playing on mirror mode uh for whatever reason when i got super into this game uh trying to get you know everything 100 and unlocked and all of that good stuff uh, I got really into um, mirror mode being like definitely the hardest to 100%. So I spent the majority of the time on the tracks in this game in mirror mode, just simply for that fact that it took me the longest to 100% and get everything done. And I'll tell you that, uh, you know, I, I love the way these tracks play in mirror mode. Like, I don't know if some people are bothered by it, but I definitely am not. Um, let's see if we can hit our guy in first place with the giant Bowser shell there. But I, I always did love, uh, I always did love the fact of like the special items. We'll see if I can save this and, you know, maybe pull something off, Let's pull a miracle off at the end and see now here, if I can want to use my other item, I can swap my characters around and use this. That's why I would really love to see. I would really love to see this mechanic return. Uh, this is actually probably the perfect place to use the shell if it doesn't go off the edge here. There we go. That worked out beautifully. And of course, you know, this is definitely the hardest difficulty. I, I don't remember, and somebody can let me know in the comments down below if in mirror mode, if you run a little bit faster than what you do in 150 CC. Um, I know now they have, you know, of course, like 200 CC, and I did not mean to throw that shell. Um, they have 200 CC, of course, that you can do now, but see, I, that would have been perfect to hang on to because I needed it right there. Let's see if we can maintain our spot, though. Uh, this game just feels incredible. I mean, I, no, no, no gripes on... Um, on Mario Kart um, 8 Deluxe, to be fair. I mean, I think that game plays fantastic as well. Um, just something about the intensity, you know, and then just like the little switching mechanics that I really, I really have heavy nostalgia for in this game. And this course plays great. Like, this is absolutely one 
that if if uh, if they leave this out, I will be sorely disappointed because I think this is one that fans would love to play. And we and we successfully came in first. I'm really surprised for getting used to these mechanics again. But again, this is a game I spent more hours in by far and away than any other Mario Kart. I was like the perfect age when this game came out, and I really enjoyed every minute of it. But of course, we'll hop around in the video and show some different tracks that I definitely hope make it over as part of this DLC booster pass course. Now, next up on the list, and still not the top of my charts by any means, we'll, we'll save that for last. We'll probably do like four different courses or something that I want to highlight, but Peach Beach is absolutely another one that I definitely hope we see make it over to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as part of the DLC because, well, if you guys don't know, I, for whatever reason, my favorite 3D Mario game of all time, I'll just say it, is Mario Sunshine. And I know that's like not really the most popular opinion online. There's a lot of people really don't like Mario Sunshine. Uh, wow, I got a blue shell right out of the gate there. Uh, which, by the way, I got screwed over on the blue shell in the in the uh, last round of that Luigi course that I just played. Um, gotta love Mario Kart and last minute changes. But this is, of course, themed off of of uh, of Mario Kart Sunshine, or I mean Mario Sunshine rather. Oh, see, in the, this is another thing I like. I just got my special shell in first place. Launch that behind and just hopefully wreck everybody. Yeah, and you see the little side icons get spun around and Bowser Jr. is laughing away. Um, I yeah, so I super super enjoyed. Um, Mario Sunshine 100%ed it again uh, whenever it was re-released on as part of that uh, Mario 3D All-Stars collection. And don't get me wrong, like Mario, Mario 64 is a very close second as my favorite uh, all-time 3D Mario and probably enjoy that one. Uh, I mean, equally, close to is equally. And I know a lot of people didn't like the flood mechanic, uh, but I did. I actually thought the flood mechanic was great. And I thought that some of the platforming in that game was so hardcore. Uh, you know, you just really had zero room for error, which I absolutely love, especially on those particular stages where um, the, you know, uh, what, what's he called? Like Dark Mario or whoever uh, is is basically um, uh, steals your flood pack and then you have to go through those special stages. The platforming in that game is absolutely ridiculous. Very complicated. Ah, oh, see, here we go. Blue Shell again. You can't be too far ahead in first. They're not going to let you have it, but I think I'm actually good. And I didn't mean that to throw that ahead. Oh, yeah. And I just wrecked myself. Oh. And we, we scooted by very closely. That could have went extremely horribly and it would have been my fault. But yeah, Mario Sunshine themed level. Definitely love it. Definitely love Mario Sunshine. Uh, love Galaxy 1 and 2 as well. Like I'm a huge fan of all the 3D Marios, but it's always been my favorite to revisit and go back and play Sunshine for its crazy intense platforming. The bonus question, besides the stage, what is your guys' favorite 3D Mario game in the comments down below? So next track up on the list without question is none other than Waluigi Stadium, as this is just a super enjoyable track and one that I have heavy nostalgia for as well. I hope this one absolutely makes it to the DLC pack. I think this is another one that's likely. I hope it's not just like so many. I think Tor has already like they've done a lot of original tracks, but I think they've done a lot of remastered ones as well. And I'm not fully familiar uh, on which ones are in Tor or not. So I hope I'm hopeful that this one will make it over. Um, I one thing I will say about the mechanics in this game, uh, too, is there is a big difference on if you are a light character or a heavy character on how fast you recover. And I know it's still like that in Mario Kart um, 8 Deluxe, but it's it's pretty noticeable here. And I think that that's the reason that I always preferred to play light in this game, just because you get hit so much in these stages. And it's not like they're the biggest stages out there either. Like they're definitely, you know, some of them at least are on the smaller side and you get hit. There's so much chaos going on, so many crazy uh, items, especially like that Bowser shell that luckily I have as my power up, but that will just wreck you and you'll lose all your items that you're holding whenever you get hit with it. And uh, while you do have a big speed advantage being a bigger character, it's absolutely nice to be able to recover quickly. Oh, we got Yoshi's egg behind us. That didn't work out well. Uh, nope, couldn't even recover from that uh, that mushroom. Yeah, that's this isn't, there we go. Got that banana just in time. Um, just a super like if I don't know why it feels more intense to me than Mario Kart 8 Deluxe I'm not gonna lie like I feel like every movement is like so fast paced and I know I'm playing on like the higher speed and stuff but it just if there's so something about the mechanics of this game are is in my opinion at least superior Let's see if I can time this just right right in front of the items there um but yeah a ton, and so the, so next up you know it's gonna be like my favorite stage by far and away um, like at, like at outshines every other stage like qu by, by quite a lot for this game for me honestly um, so I'm excited to share that one with you guys uh, I should not have done that uh, okay we're all right but yeah I will ju I, I just think that overall when it comes to Mario Kart games you really can't beat double dash and it's it's a mixture of how tight the controls feel of course there is some things that are missing like I would like to actually be able to have that uh, ability to do 
a, uh, a little trick in the air or something um, to, to go ahead and get another boost like they added in with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And we're going to finish in second, maybe maybe worse than that now, uh, which is actually a big problem because uh, just in this last... <laughs> yeah. See, that, that's one of those things that happens with items in this game is just, you know, right there. I went from second to sixth immediately like that, which is like, ah, whatever. It's not, not like I'm playing competitively or anything just for fun, but, you know, that's the kind of devastating blow that can happen in a Mario game, which is a perfect example of just things going wrong at the last second. But yeah, we were we were fighting for first of the entire cup between us, Mario, and Donkey Kong, and then just like that, we're down to sixth, and then I think we placed now uh, still second overall in the cup, but regardless, that's not gold, so that's not what you're aiming for, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hop into the final best game, best track of the game, in my opinion, at least. So by far and away, my favorite Mario Kart track period has to be DK Mountain. This was one of those for me that I spent all the time in the world actually trying to get like the best time trial result on as well. I would race against my own ghost in the game to try to outdo myself each time. I just love everything about this stage right here. The soundtrack to it, the giant barrel blast right here. You're flying through the sky. You got the angry volcano. Clearly I'm a Donkey Kong fan to begin with as well, but something about this stage uh, for me is it is still to this day definitively my favorite Mario Kart stage out there period and uh, something about this is, is if this if this doesn't come to wow I'm just getting messed up here if this doesn't come to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC booster course pass I will be like legitimately devastated guys we have to have this track in that game I will be very cool I would be very curious to see how the uh, exact level design translates over with the different style mechanics and I just fell off the cliff there clearly I don't have this track down like I used to but it's so much fun if you're into drifting like super perfect timing drifts right around the corners like you can get to the point where this is Oh, wow. And then this this bridge right here, too. This is another devastating thing about this this level in particular. You might be having the best run ever. And then on that bridge, you have kind of like a straight shot uh, where everybody can uh, everybody can kind of just mess you around. And if they have a star, you're getting launched off the entire side of it. You're falling down to the to your death and getting far behind. We have a blue shell here. We'll see if we can recapitalize. But yeah, I do think that this one has to make it over. I think a lot of fans would love to see this uh, as part of the DLC. And, you know, again, to kind of you know, continue the conversation of how much better of a value uh, Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion pack is becoming, you know, like I'm not going to spend the 25 bucks. I'm just going to uh, hop in and get this this Friday. And I, I just I think wave one while I'm a little bit excited. I mean, I am excited for wave one just for like the new tracks. Like it's definitely not like the heaviest uh, nostalgia hitter out there as far as like the ones that there because a lot of them are from tour, you know. And so I think that as we continue to see more courses added in, like it's just going to get better and better. So I just I love having a reason to boot up Mario Kart again, you know, and this has been a lot of fun just playing through these stages because I've been playing on Grand Prix this whole time. So to get to this stage on this cup, this is the fourth you know cup. So I've actually been enjoying like every minute of replaying Double Dash a little bit. I threw that off way too far to the side. I could have actually done some damage if I would have lined that up correctly. Uh, one thing I will tell you guys too, I was talking about earlier about the lightweight characters in this game and the fast recovery time. Uh, that is a great uh, benefit. What you just saw there though, is like almost all my momentum was uh, stopped by that larger vehicle. You get knocked around super easy uh, if you are a small weight character in this. And uh, of course, they, again, same thing reigns true uh, for nowadays in Mario Kart games. But like the way I just bumped him there, it was only because he was vulnerable. Oh, we want that was already the last track, uh, last round, and I didn't even realize it. Um, well, that's cool. So, yeah, what you know, it's one of those things you get bumped around very easily. Like I could have easily been thrown off that bridge if a larger vehicle would have just come up and bumped directly into me. But we won, we won the cup. We didn't win everything perfect. We missed one of the points. Uh, I think it was like uh, second or third place. That, uh, third place actually that I came in on, I believe, on the first uh, race, but. Mario Kart Double Dash is one that, like, if Nintendo just wanted to remaster it and port it over, I would buy it as a $60, you know, game on the Switch happily. But regardless, you know, it's it's a fun time again to be a Mario Kart fan. Uh, while we're not getting the next installment for the foreseeable future, probably definitely not until after 2023, like, we may be talking the true successor Switch Pro or next-gen Switch, whatever they're going to end up calling it before we're even talking about a new Mario Kart. So at this point in the video, guys, I want to know from you personally on what tracks you want to see brought over to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that aren't there today. Are you like me and you really like Double Dash? And when's the last time you've played it, if you have? Because this was the first time in years that I've booted this game up and had a ton of fun with it. And bonus question, if your favorite game isn't Double Dash, what is your favorite Mario Kart game of all time? With the reasons why behind it. And then definitely just share with me, you know, what your overall impressions is of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe booster course DLC pack and it being a part of Nintendo Switch Online. So I do look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments down below as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around this topic.
Make sure you check out the weekend video if you haven't already, where we have a broad discussion around Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack, all of the numerous updates and adjustments Nintendo has made to the service since its initial release to address a lot of fan complaints and how in my eyes personally, it is quickly becoming a must purchase service for Nintendo fans out there. Also make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.